hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel cad with vikram so in this video i am going to discuss one of the most important tools the tools name is height and suppress so what is the difference between height and suppress in assembly in drafting so i am going to see i am going to discuss about that tools so first of all you see where you can get that options so first of all also you can right click on your components and you can get hide and suppress or also you can see here like a so on hide that is showing in this top bar and for suppress go for assembly and then go for menu sorry more and you can get here suppress component so you can get from here that option so before starting uh, that tutorial i want to show you some pdf like that I mentioned in this PDF what is the difference between height and suppress so I suggest you first you read out this uh, point some points I mentioned here just say first point I mentioned here hiding and suppressing parts in assemblies can have similar looking results but both operations behave quite differently from each other so suppose you are going to hide or going to suppress so both will look like a same mean and that will not show that will invisible your components okay that will not visible so in both operation that will show like that same but operation we have is different okay so i mentioned here something like a hide okay in hide what will happen okay so what is not included what is included i mentioned here in hide okay so just to take a screenshot otherwise also you can see this points just pause this video and see another point another uh, in suppress you can see some points i mentioned here okay what is the suppress meaning in suppress what will happen so it is like a almost deleted but you can unsuppress you can undo your components okay so also in suppress i mentioned some parts here you can see easily you can understand okay so let's start uh, let's go for software and starts uh, to see how to hide or how to suppress your components okay so just see first of all i want to show you the difference between hide and suppress with the help of assembly workbench in assembly i inserted here three component as you can see here i am going to apply fixed constraint fixed relation in these two plates blue and green plates so both component is fixed right now just check it this component is fixed or not icon is also showing or also I want to check it with the help of move command I am trying to move it just see your component is fixed component so you can't move here also I am doing same thing so you can see here also you can't move this component it means this component is also fixed same thing for this yellow parts and see what will happen now you can move this component because of this component is not fixed this component is in float mode you can move easily you can rotate easily so next i am going to apply some relations some constraints with the help of constraints only we can differentiate so just i am applying touch align relation between these two phase just click ok now if now you can you can say that yellow parts is fixed that can't uh, move in x direction but again i am going to apply the lesson you can see here that is showing over defined in yellow parts can't be touch with this uh, blue parts at the same time now i am going to hide this component if you will hide then you can see here you can't see this component this means there is no components like that you can say just you you are trying to apply touch align relation so now you can't apply because that component is not showing but there is a component there is a relation so that is maintaining this relations okay at the same time so i am going to apply suppress command okay i am going to suppress this component just go for more and then suppress component now your component is suppressed now see what will happen so this component almost deleted so now you can apply touch align relation between yellow parts and this blue parts easily you can see your components can be moved because of that is showing like there is no any components because of uh, if you don't need your component you can suppress but in the future suppose you need then you can uh, unsuppress your components i am doing the same thing again just see i am going to suppress this component click ok now apply relation between this 
to faces easily you can apply relation that is not showing over constants it's mean by applying unsuppress approximately the component is deleted like that but you can restore you can unsuppress see i'm going to unsuppress so now first relation is showing like over defined second also showing over defined you can delete one of the relation okay so i think you can differentiate what is the difference between height and so in assembly i'm doing the uh, same thing uh, same difference I want to show you with the help of drafting. So in drafting also I inserted same three parts. You can see I applied some relations like a touch align relation. Just in drafting sheet, just take a new sheet first. Go for a standard sheets or you can go for use templates and then select your A4 sheet or A3 sheet any sheet. Now you can see you are having a sheet so with the help of view creation wizard i am inserting a view okay i am selecting front view only so just deselect your isometric view you click click on finish now you can see one view is available here okay i need to change scaling just go for general and then change scale ratio 1 is to 2 I think this is perfect just click ok now see carefully I want to show you difference between height and suppress so first of all I am going for part mean modeling modeling workbench and here I am going to hide this blue parts see I am going to hide this blue parts and now move on drafting sheet just update this view okay click on this rectangle boundary body boundary and then update it now you can see uh, that is uh, not available here but if you want to show you can show easily okay in this trees drafting trees also you can see just update it you can see you can show or hide this component easily but at the same time if you are going to suppress this component Okay, right click on that otherwise also you can uh, suppress this with the help of more go for assembly and then go for more now suppress this component okay so now I suppress this component see carefully now go for drafting okay sorry in just a second click on drafting okay so in drafting now first of all update this view first now you can see top part is like a uh, uh, unhide that you can't see that invisible that part is invisible but if you want to show you can't show now right now because of that is showing your parts is not available in workbench in modeling workbench you, you can see i'm clicking here but i can't show this part but if you will hide then you can show easily you can show or hide anything you can do but here parts is not available here also you can't show what you have to do you have to unsuppress this component first so go for unsuppress component now you can see one is showing just unsuppress it now go for drafting now you can update and you can get that parts just update it now you can see you can get these parts so i hope you understand what is the difference between hide and suppress